Hello everybody, my name is Vernon13 and I am coming back at you with another video. Think about it, it's been a while since I last done that intro to be honest, but I have looked at the comments of some of my videos and I've noticed that a lot of my subscribers want me to do another electronic game video. And I was thinking to myself, that's actually a pretty good idea. And I looked around at all of the electronic games that I have, and I was weighing back and forth between the one that I wanted to do in this video, and I ended up selecting a pretty good one. This one is fun, this one is challenging, it's really unique, and I think that it will make for a pretty interesting video. I definitely want to thank you all for being patient out there, for those of you who have been wanting for me to put up more electronic game videos, bop its all that kind of stuff. Thank you guys for your support. I appreciate your comments, and I'm doing the best I can to make as many videos as possible. It's not really easy because of my recording situation and my internet situation. It's all really weird. Hopefully soon I'll be able to have a better internet situation, and I'll be able to have a better software for making videos, and eventually my channel can be a little bit better. But for the time being, I don't have a lot of options, so I'm just going to make the best of what i got. And what I have for you guys today is none other than the challenging and amazing and intriguing Flashball. This game is a lot harder than it looks. It's really fun and really addicting. And when you first pick it up, you'll think, oh, I got this, no problem. Um, to my surprise, when I first bought this game, I saw it in an eBay listing, and I thought it looked really interesting. And then I looked up commercials and other videos of people playing it, and I figured I have to own one of these. It looks really fun, and I really need to try it. And it is fun, but like I said, it can get pretty frustrating, and it requires a lot of patience and dexterity. Um, I'm not necessarily in the best space to be able to play this game. I have a wall right here. I have my computer desk and my tower and all of that right in front of me. I have a box fan right here, and then I have a shelf right behind me. So this isn't necessarily the best of places to be recording a video for this kind of electronic game. But again, I don't have very many options. I'm doing the best with what I got here. So, the way this game works is it has six sensors. Each of these sensors glows red, and the sensors are touch sensitive, meaning that when you're trying to play this game, whatever you touch, the sensors will detect. If I grab this one, this one, this one, this one, the red lights are the ones that you need to grab, and they will detect your hand. You have three different game modes. You have, if I can show you here, one hand, two hand, and three hands. Basically what that means is there is a game mode where you can only catch one glowing bulb or sensor or whatever you want to call that. There's one where two glow at a time, so it'll be catching two at once, oops, rather than just one. And then of course there's one that has three, and that game mode is pretty ridiculous. I've attempted it a couple times before, and it's pretty difficult. Um, and I have not gotten very far with it because of how deceivingly challenging this game is. So, let me go ahead and turn it on. Your power button is right here. They blink and flash at the beginning, and it plays this, like, music, I guess. I'm not sure how you would call, you know, describe that music. But, it shows you three glowing sensors. And again, like I said, you have your one hand, you have your two hands, and you have your three hands. Sorry, I had to look at it to make sure that I knew what it was doing. But whichever game mode that you prefer, you grab it and hold it up. It's almost kind of like brain warp. You have to make sure that it's facing up. So you grab whichever one that you want to play, and then you press the start button. I'm going to start with one hand. It is really easy to drop. It's not easy to hold. It's it's really weird and it's really wonky and, and you have to get used to it. But um, I'm kind of rusty because I haven't played it in a while. So let me try that again. Again, deceivingly hard, trust me. 
Now what happened there is I grabbed the right sensor, but I dropped it and the other sensor hit my stomach and that wasn't supposed to happen. Again, let's try that again. Not sure how that happened. Okay, again. I grabbed the right sensor, but this one right here bumped into my arm like that, and I set it off. Um, so that was sort of a demonstration of one hand. I'm going to go ahead and do two hands because I think it's easier. This game is really awkward to play with, because sometimes the sensors will glow in really odd patterns, and it makes it difficult to catch them. This thing's tough. It's not easy. Let me kind of back up a little, just a little. Mm, the slightest the slightest miscalculation in how you throw and grab it will... you'll pay for it. Again, I went to grab it, and when I went to grab it, I hit the other thing. This game is frustrating. Two player again. Oh uh, no! How did I do that? I don't think you're supposed to let go. I think the minute that you touch a center, you have to keep a hold of it. You can't grab it and then let go of it or slip past it. I don't think that counts. Um, two hands again. Let's keep it going. confused. I grabbed the right ones. Did I hit something that I wasn't supposed to? Oh, I was on a roll! Let's see what my high score was on that. Very nice. Very nice. Let's do that again. Oh! It's difficult. Okay. Now. For demonstration purposes and for your guys' amusement only, I will be attempting three hands. This is not going to be smart, but I'm going to do the best I can. It's whatever. Oh no! It's so hard, you never know where they're going to pop up. It's completely random. It is entirely random. never know where these things are going to pop up. I'm serious. Come on, let's go. We can do this. How did I even do that? Okay. Wow. That was... I don't even know how I managed to fail that hard. What you say Oh, that you only meant well Well, cause you did mm, What you say mm, That it's all for the best Cause it is Um, okay, I'm not gonna lie to you guys That kinda hurt, it hit my head And, um, uh, I wasn't quite expecting that So, uh, let's just, uh, go ahead and go back to two hands
I thought I messed up, but I didn't. Um, let's go ahead and do one hand again. I don't understand that I... The game intrigues me every time I play it. It's really easy to lose your grip. I'm telling you, man. It's really easy. Really easy to lose your grip. Let's go ahead and do one more um, two-player or two-hand, and then I'll go ahead and end the video. Well, there you have it. That is Flashball. You have three different game modes, three different challenges, one hand, two hands, or three hands, which three hands is a lot harder than it looks. All of them are a lot harder than they look. This thing is a, definitely a challenge. But um, that's pretty much it for Flashball. Let me scoot back into the shot here. This game is definitely interesting, really fun to do, really addicting, not exactly easy. But the more you play it and the more you practice it, the more you'll get the hang of it. And I can guarantee you that you are going to be at this thing for a while trying to beat your personal best records on the different game modes. I would recommend doing three hands if you have another player. Or just practicing it and getting much better at it instead of just failing miserably like I just did. I could definitely use a lot more practice with that game, as you just saw. So... There's not really much else to say about that, other than the fact that I highly recommend it to anybody that doesn't have it. And those of you who do have it, let me know in the comment section below if you have this game and if you enjoy it and how much you play it. I'd really like to know that kind of stuff from you guys. I appreciate your comments. I appreciate your support. And one last thing that I must mention before I go is yesterday was, in fact, my birthday. I turned 22. I was going to do a video for my birthday, but I was, like, really relaxed yesterday. I felt like it was just an entire day for me to kind of veg and do whatever I want. Um, I went to the library and hung out there, did several things at the library on their computer. I solved some Rubik's Cubes. I had a good nap. Um, I had dinner with my mom and brother. It was nice to hang out with them and watch Scooby-Doo. That was seriously fun. I had a great birthday yesterday. And I really wanted to make a video and upload it yesterday for you guys, but I didn't eventually get around to doing that. So I'm doing it now, and I just definitely want to say thank you guys so much for your support. I recently went over 600 subs, so thank you guys for another 100 subscribers. That's definitely awesome of you guys. I remember when I hit 500, I was like, man, that's a ridiculous amount. And then I got 107 more, I believe, in the past year. So thank you guys very much for that. I love your guys' support. It makes me feel great, and it motivates me to make more videos. For those of you who left me comments about doing more electronic games, trust me, in the future, there will be a slew of electronic game videos coming your way. There's a lot of stuff that I have yet to do that I would love to do for this channel. Enough of me rambling. Thank you guys for clicking on this video and watching me fail at this game. I'm going to leave you guys with a smile, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.